dear people who might be uh, viewing this Mass of St. Teresa of Avila, the great reformer of the Carmelite order. Um, I'm very sorry, I forgot to press the button on my machine to start the recording at the beginning of Mass, which I've just celebrated. I do apologise. Let's just say then a prayer now, and we'll make that spiritual communion in due course. We remember, first of all, that uh, our St. Teresa of Avila was a great reformer, great mystic, but that doesn't mean that she didn't have her feet firmly on the ground and with us. She was the most practicable, practical person out. And she teaches us to enter closely into a relationship in, with God in the power of the Holy Spirit through Jesus. She says, we get to God through the humanity of Jesus. And so, with those thoughts in mind, encouraging us to come nearer Christ our Lord and find the way to new life, I ask you to pray with me. Lord Jesus, may the example of St. Teresa of Avila, the Reformer, lead us closer day by day to the presence, through the presence of Jesus Christ, to the Father in heaven. May we walk with him closely. May we become as it were, filled with his strength and his life. I read now a little bit of the Gospel, reminding us that Jesus is the vine and we are the branches, and that if we are close to him, then the sap of life will come through that relationship. Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me, with me in him, bears fruit in plenty. But cut off from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that has been thrown away. He withers. Dearest Lord, we come to you we come close to you. We want to receive you in the sacrament. We therefore make a spiritual communion and unite ourselves close to you. You who are the vine, we who are the branches, who need your strength, your comfort. I ask you with me to make that spiritual communion using the prayer of St. Alphonsus. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. And I just say the prayer <coughs> that begins the Mass, but as an ending. O oh God, who through your Spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the Church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Again, my apologies. I just passed by the machine set up and didn't press the electronic button. Uh, mea culpa.
final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.